it's very very vital that you establish the size the precise size and extent of your land even if there are three people or four people that owned or contributed towards giving ceding the land to or donating or voluntary donating the land to the government you must also know you the extent of your own portion that includes uh, the one that everybody now gave to the government so that is very very important yes and then fundamentally it's also important that in proving title to land there are several ways you can do that i mean in establishing the extent of your land there are several ways you can do that number one you can either come by way of your survey plan your survey plan shows you the extent the boundaries the people who you know are bound there by your own particular uh, portion of land and also that your survey plan it's also important that it is drawn by a registered surveyor who would then lodge it at the office of the surveyor general you see that in this case we never even had anything like that except that it was the government who had their own survey plan but you, the government will not assist or the defendant does not have the duty or onus to assist the plaintiff to support his case so the survey plan will come from the uh, survey general general's office in the past as well people use um, boundary men you know that these are my boundary men you see that in this case this man never called his boundary men the boundary men are like oh in the south i am bounded by so 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 and so family in the west so so and so family in the east there is a road path that crosses this that divides this land those things were never presented in court mm -hmm. all he came to court to say was that oh we had a portion of land we gave it to the ministry and the ministry has now converted it to another use he never even presented any evidence showing that this land was specifically for ranching and not you know for other purposes these evidences were pieces of evidence rather were not tendered in court so it's important that when you go to court you also have evidence to present to the court and more importantly without overflowing the issue make sure that you know your land you know the extent so that it's only when it's not in dispute that okay this is the size of the land that's when you can now say oh that might not really now be a strong requirement but when the extent the size of the land is in dispute you must present or show or establish that this land belongs to you by either survey plan your boundary men and all the rest so we should note that